so today we're going to learn a little bit about the Tandy Color Computer and how to program for it. Um, just a little bit of background, I was basically born with the Tandy Color Computer, the Coco, and even in adulthood I've grown to have lots of respect for the Coco. It's one of the best systems ever. Almost as cool as a mullet. Yes. Without any further ado, let's start screwing around with it. So we're going to play around here a little bit and we're going to make the Magic 8 Ball game. Uh, right now I'm just putting out the title. Um, to do that I have to list um, everything in order, um, in numeric order, like 5, 10, 15, 20, or 1, 2, 3, however you want to do it. I usually leave spaces so that we can go back and edit in things later if we need to. Um, anyway, so yes, this is Magic 8 Ball. It's just going to be a little thing where you put in a number and it gives you some text back. and that's about it. And after the title's done, we're going to have to define some variables. And if anybody knows anything about programming, variables are basically things that you create to do things with. <laughs> um, I'm changing all of the numbers. The possibilities are 1 through 8. I'm changing them all to letters so that A equals 1, S equals 2. And the reason I'm doing that is so that we can use them to manipulate them in Tandy using a little bit of code. Um, and the end result is going to be fairly simple in comparison to a lot of other Tandy programs and games that came out at the time that were far, far more advanced than anything that came out on other consoles. It just goes to show how absolutely powerful the system was for its time. Um, it could do sound, it could do voices, it could do different colors, graphics, backgrounds, all sorts of things that you could manipulate and just putting in a little bit of code. So now that we've assigned all of the numbers a letter that corresponds to it, we're going to go ahead and put the only part of the code in that's actually action code. And by action code, I mean the only part that you actually respond to it. It's going to ask you to put in a number, and then whatever number you hit. And that line's too long, so I'm going to have to shorten that up a little bit. Enter number, exclamation mark. <laughs> and then the semicolon U is the part that you put in. So whatever whatever number you put in is going to be known in this code as u. So if a equals u, which of course we know a was 1, then we're going to go to line, say, 135. I'm just guessing. And then 150. Um, the reason I'm jumping far ahead is because that's code that I'm going to put in later. As a matter of fact, I can show you right now. Um, no, if These are all if statements, by the way. If a equals u, go to 135. And then 135 is basically just a text that's going to say you will do something, you will win money, sure. Um, and then let's see, 150 is going to be text that's going to pop up and say something bad, uh, you will go bankrupt, <laughs> or something, you know, and then so on and so forth after that, 170. And I'll have to do all of these letters, 1 through 8, or all these numbers, 1 through 8, and it'll be A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K. Um, so anyway, I mean, Little did I know when I was a kid, I got a Tandy Color computer when I was younger, and I didn't get any games with it right away, so this, like, crap that I was doing was actually programming, and I didn't even realize it. Um, so, it's like basic, basic programming, if anything. Not really even programming, it's just monkey code. So, um, let's see here. Um, and then in between all of these prints, um, I have to put in the end part that'll basically say you've conquered the game, or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, let's erase that. Um, you will be best day of your life. There you go. Um, so, like, and, hmm. Oh, and um, also, all this, and I'm doing it like all out of order, but all you have to do is hit list, and it'll put it all back in order. Um, the way it should be. So we're just going to put some random your worst fears, best day of your life. Um, you will have many friends. Uh, the thing that you fear the most is coming, whatever. Um, and we'll just finish up here. We're almost done. Uh, H, and then I got J and K. You have lots of friends. You have lots of friends. <laughs> oh, I love this. Anyway, so... Um, and then we'll do K. And this is the last one. Uh, too early to predict. There you go. Oh, too early to say. And there they are. It's all in order, uh, except for 90, which for some reason isn't in order. And that's irritating. I wonder why that is. Um, anyway. So, now we could just list it and run it. 
No, we can't run it. We can list it though. I'm trying to see why exactly that one's not in order. I'm trying to list and then break. Oh well. Even if it's not in order, it should still work. Um, so anyway, um, if anybody that's out there that has a Tandy Color computer can totally vouch for it. I mean, so many great games and so many cool things to do with it. Um, you, the only problem with what I had is when <laughs> when you first got it, it didn't have any way of saving anything. Um, now I'll do all the go-tos, which i got to go back and change 140. Got 300, go to 300. Yeah, yeah, they're getting put back in there now. Um, so many cool things that we had. Um, as far as saving games, though, or saving your code, as soon as you turn the system off, it was gone. <laughs> and you had to buy, like, a tape deck and a special cord that would go between the tape deck and you'd save any code or any game saves or whatever onto cassette tapes. It was awesome. So there we go. Magic 8-Ball. Oh, you hit a 2 and you will go bankrupt. Oh, look at that. Clear screen. So, that's the game. And I added a clear screen at the end, or at the beginning. 4, you will have a good day. Six, you will win money. Thanks for playing. <laughs> anyway. anyway, if you found this presentation interesting at all, you should definitely check out the links that I have in the information section on this video because you can have your very own Tandy Color computer in your browser. So just check out the links and check out the programs that were made in Java. Um, those guys are freaking amazing, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.